first of all, it has to do with the community. And at Georgetown Central School, they're very uh, environmentally oriented, and that helps a lot that the faculty uh, is cooperating very strongly, enthusiastically, with bringing the kids out to fields trip. The other thing, it's only two miles to the school. As the harvesters are going to get all the information and the knowledge, and it's a double win for the harvesters because they're going to get to have the rewards from what's underneath the net. And the kids will have some of the rewards for what's underneath their net so they can make money for their school. Everybody wins. just contrived science for the uh, sake of education going on out here. These kids are asking and answering real science questions, questions that we need the answers to if we're going to maximize the restoration of these flats. They're also really cost-effective little scientists. When we first get out in the mud, like one of the things that you'll notice is the kids are all staring at their feet and they spend like the first uh, you're talking to them about things and they're just like entranced by their feet in the mud as they're stomping and the mud is squelching. 